this special event, we will first be hearing from Steve Davis, who oversees the Hypernoot Pod competition and is the director of the Boring Company. And Flo Lee, who is a senior mechanical engineer at SpaceX. Hi everyone, again, welcome to the third Hyperloop competition. Um, when, when Elon started this back in uh, January of 2017, uh, I don't think we, we realized what kind of an action there was going to be. Uh, for that first competition, I believe, I think it was between, it was over a thousand, I don't know the exact number, of universities internationally actually applied to be in the competition. We're like, oh wow, this is great, because not only is it a great competition, but it really means that the entire world is serious about making transportation better, which, which is great. For this competition, over 1,000 students uh, applied, and at the end of the day, we're down to 20 teams, which uh, arrived for competition weekend, starting this past Sunday. And then today, the final uh, the final three teams are going to go. Actually, right at this second, the tube is pumping down as one of the teams gets ready to go. So again, we want to thank all the students. They've worked so hard. And actually, we're here till past midnight last night, which was, which was great. Always happens. And then uh, good luck to all the teams, and thanks for coming. Hey, everybody. Um, I wanted to reiterate what Steve said. I wanted to first thank all the teams. You guys have been amazing. This year you've been working so hard. It's just been really inspiring. Um, so thank you. Round of applause for all of you guys. Woo! So this is our third Hyperloop competition. And I've seen them all. And every year the pods get better and better. Um, so it's really amazing. Um, so we had our four finalists. Um, they were selected last night. So I'm going to name them off. Uh, the first one was University of Washington. <laughs> they ran earlier today. Um, then we also have Delft Hyperloop. Who <laughs> um, then next up will be ETF Loop. <laughs> and then last team to run today will be WAR. So before we start today, I want to make sure to thank Shrine Aerospace, who's been super supportive for us in this whole endeavor, and all of the other businesses um, here along Jackson Road. Um, I also wanted to thank the city of Hawthorne. Uh, Hawthorne has been amazing. We've got a lot of city officials here watching today. Um, and I'm happy to introduce Mayor Vargas, who's super passionate about science and engineering, and he's going to come and talk to us today. How's everyone doing today? You guys having fun in the heat? The Hawthorne heat? <laughs> There's a beach right there after everything's finished. You guys can head over there. Hawthorne's known as the home of the Beach Boys. So something that you guys might have not realized, this is where it all started for the Beach Boys. And it's really a pleasure to join all of you here today. This is a global event and it's happening here in the city of Hawthorne. Some of the most the smartest and inspiring students from around the world and 40 countries are here, here in the city of Hawthorne, demonstrating their technology, which may one day transform the way we transport ourselves throughout our cities and from city. And each time, I'm a physics major myself, and I worked in aerospace for about 14 years, and I can personally attest that there is passion, that there's dedication, and all the designs that have been presented so far, and in the ones that have culminated in reaching the last spinal six. Today's competition, and you, the bright students, and all those have, who have participated, and all the engineering and science students, reflect a furthering of Hawthorne's rich history of aerospace that has contributed to innovation and technology. And we're all proud, as residents and as people who have visited Hawthorne and can personally attest themselves. Hawthorne is proud to be home to companies like SpaceX and the Boring Company, which are combining ingenuity and passion to transform their industries. And those same traits can be seen in the students that are here today competing. You, the students. So let's give it up for you one more time. Next generation. Thank you so much for being here. 
partner with the city of Papa, and we're happy to partner with him. The student high school waits are here. My other council colleagues who are not here also send their guards. Mayor Pro Tem Haydar Awad, Council Member Nilo Michelin, and Councilwoman Olivia Valentine. Together we welcome you to the city of Hawthorne and we all want to wish you good luck in today's competition. So thank you very much for having me here. It's an honor to speak to you. Congratulations to everybody who has participated. You guys are great. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you, Mayor Vargas. We will now shortly begin the first Hyperloop race by Delft Hyperloop, a team of 41 students from various countries based at Delft University in the Netherlands. As a reminder, for this year's competition, the fastest pod wins. Additionally, all pods must be self-propelled. This is not an easy feat, and we are impressed with the pods that came here today. Racing shortly at around 11.45 a.m. Note that they won best design in our first competition back in January of 2017. And then did not compete in August of 2017. This time, they're back with a student-designed carbon fiber test pod with one motor. Stay tuned as we'll begin that race shortly. Thank <laughs> you. 